Hello, my name is Minister Paul, and I'm in Northern California. Um, I'm going to share a letter I received. Now, in 2012, I made a video where I received like a, for one letter, a red letter, and then a second letter, a blue letter. And then um, I called them, and their answers just didn't make sense. And now, I got another letter. Uh, Today I just came back from the mail, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this from a different angle. If the government is gonna continue uh, to warn us about these things that they say are coming, then rather than get on here and speak bad about them, I'm gonna use the information they're giving me to show you what the government is showing from the state to the the na uh, nation in in D.C and government agencies from city, county, state, and federal levels to sound the alarm as the, my role in a minister since I refused to sell out to corporate churches over the last 35 years, since I refused to like take donations or uh, follow their 5013C program where they can tell you what to say. I have full liberty and freedom to, to speak anything I want. I'm the only one I'm, I'm, I'm accountable to is Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's my work, okay? So let me show you something. This letter comes in today while we're in the biggest drought of California's history. Uh, everything the Lord is telling me is by next summer, it will be so much worse. And I get a flood notification. I saw something on the other news about the warnings of earthquakes breaking major levees. And then I get this letter, so I said, you know what, rather than get out here and, and speak, you know, bad things and paranoid things, I'm going to use this so you can be prepared. How about that? That's wisdom. So this says, living with we uh, levees, know your flood risk, flood risk notice 2014. It's stamped by the state of California, uh, FEMA, it says in partner with FEMA. EMA, Emergency Management, um, the Great Seal of the State of California, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And those are the ones who inspect the levees, and those are the ones who uh, map out, like we have 200-year flood protection. Um, and a few years ago, after they spent millions of dollars that we voted to approve on here, we had 100-year levees. And uh, our levees, are, are, I think, are the best in California. So what they're saying now, let me show you the front here. It's a family sitting on the levee at total peace. Um, it says, consider these facts. I'm going to show you a picture of the levee. You can pause it if you want to, zoom in, try to show it to you the best as I can. And it's listing these, these uh, remember this simple uh, three-step plan. And we'll go over that. Just want to show you, should bear witness of the link is www.water.california.gov.myflagrisk. List, it lists a number 1877. Three sevens in a row. It's easy to remember. And then it's also in Spanish. It's available for interpretation by anybody if you go to their website. I mean, for anybody. So, what's your risk? Find out now, and it gives that link. And it says, uh, did you know 90% of California uh, counties have had at least one flood during the four droughts since 1976? Interesting information. 40% of California counties have experienced five or more floods during the four droughts since 1976. True or false, if your home is destroyed, in a flood, you are still responsible for the mortgage. A, true. And we have flood insurance on here. It's highly documented. You can live in your home while it is being prepared or repaired. A, false. Typically, while a flood, my eyes are not as good as they used to be. I used to have 2015. Typically, during a flood, damaged homes is being 
repaired, it cannot be occupied. Um, so it says le levees may reduce but not eliminate the risk of flooding, even if a levy meets the FEMA standard of 100 year flood protection, which ours does in my county. There is at least a one in four chance of a larger flood occurring with any uh, 30 year period. And then it mentions the life of a typical home mortgage as if, look, is this about selling insurance or we have it. Flood jam is, is not cut, covered by most standard home renter and business owners insurance policies. The state recommends that you obtain flood insurance, not for your, uh, for your property, sorry. And then it gives a, an insurance agent at the NUD National Flood Insurance Program called NFIP who sent me two letters since 2012. And, well, we just began to throw them away because they're redundant and we have the insurance more than that. So it says, remember this simple three step one, one prepare, two prevent, three protect. Pre prepare, prevent, protect. And that's my warning too. Thank you, government. Prepare, prevent, protect. Because the flood is coming. They said so. I guess they know. They sending these out like like rainwater. There must be a flood coming that they know about, right? Or else why all these? So and then it gives all these good tips that I'll put a link to for time's sake on their three step plan. Um, and I want everybody to know, do not be concerned about me. Uh, I have a plan. So this is from the uh, Flood Risk Notification Program, California Department of Water Resources. I've made videos on them. DWR, Department of Water Resources. Um, Sacramento, California, 94236. 